Hello everyone, Sean Manstein here. Today I'm showing you a quick video on how to block DNS changer virus types using uh, your firewall. In this case, I'm using Untangle. Now, um, one of these viruses that it comes around in waves sometimes um, is the these viruses that change your DNS server addresses. Like uh, the, the actually it's actually called DNS changer. Um, one thing that kind of, uh, one thing about these viruses is that when the machine's in infected, uh, everything to the user looks normal. They could still access the internet and everything, but what they don't realize is that they've accessed a rogue DNS server. One way, uh, one countermeasure, one way to mitigate this type of attack um, or type of virus is um, creating a firewall rule, and I really think that this should be your one of your most basic firewall rules, um, and that is a rule to explicitly allow and deny any other uh, DNS traffic. So I have DNS traffic to I have a rule DNS traffic to specific DNS servers. Okay, so I have a rule that allows traffic to 208.67.222.222 and 4.2.2.2. Okay, um, now my DHCP settings um, are set up to allow these two DNS, or sorry, the, it leases out these two DNS servers. Okay, so I know that I've I have explicitly con, uh, configured these two DNS servers to be leased out by DHCP and there should be no other DNS traffic going out of my network uh, as a query from any client that's that's one has not been configured manually for some reason right uh, and on top of that configured manually with two DNS servers that I'm not even sure about so I want to be flagged on that and two if there's a virus that one one of my clients gets um, gets infected with say a DNS changer and it changes it to some foreign DNS server, the firewall is going to block the traffic leaving the network. So what happens is, is that that client is going to say, Hey, I can't access the internet. And when you go to the client, you'll find out that quickly that, Hey, it's been, um, it has been infected with some sort of malware that has done that. Okay. So that is a quick tip uh, to block a lot of those traffic. Um, now, uh, I know that there has been a couple of um, a couple of occasions where some actual routers themselves, the actual router has been infected. Uh, those ones, if you notice, are things like DDWRT with uh, the with the default username and password. Um, and some lower end D links, uh, not only D links, but lower end, uh, consumer grade, uh, routers. Now, um, if you're in that scenario, then I would find a, uh, I would go ahead and find, uh, maybe if there's a firmware update or something like that for your device. Um, because in this case <clears throat> you can set you can set all you want, but if someone is able to penetrate through your router uh, and make those changes, then yeah, that's not a good position. Now, if you're not in that boat and you do have a consumer grade firewall and you want to con you want to do the same thing, most consumer grade firewalls, uh, sorry, most consumer grade routers have built in firewall type features, um, and you may be able to do this exact same thing. So block uh, all other DNS servers, but the ones that you're aware of and the ones that you want to use. So I hope that helps someone uh, and helps you, uh, you know, further strengthen your defenses on your network. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, you can email me at any time, uh, sean at seanmancini.com. And uh, don't forget to visit my website, seanmancini.com. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for watching.